Hello everyone, in this video we're going to go over how useful the GPS and device tracking can be in Home Assistant and things that you can do with it whenever you either arrive at home or when you leave and then you can make it conditional to do different things at night and during the day. I hope you enjoy. What I like to do is I like to actually use my home for automations that are useful. So in this case what I did is, depending on whether it's day or night, depends on what happens whenever I get home or leave home. And how I did that would be right here. And of course, I'll provide the YAML as always, but let me find it real quick. It's GPS home away. And pretty much it's just the person entity. So person not Stephen Morgan, if he's home or whatever, and I always give him an alias. Which is the trigger ID, then I like to rename these just to make it easier for when you make big ones like this. Now the choose action is Probably one of my favorite additions to Home Assistant. And you see here I have an option one, which is night, and option two is day. And there's conditions in here because I prefer the conditions to be down here rather than here. So at nighttime, which I've determined is from 8.30 p.m. till 6.45 a.m. every day. And if I have multiple people that I was going to be applying this to, then I would add another option. But for Whenever I leave, or sorry, when I get home at night, I want the garage door to open. I want a few lights to turn on, and then I want to wait for five minutes, and I want to turn the garage door, I'm oh, sorry, close the garage door, and then turn some lights off. And whenever I leave at night, it just closes you know, the garage and locks some doors, turn the lights off. Now you can add more to this to where, of course, if there's other people that want to do it, or, um, Things like that. I mean, you can take tell to change the temperature um, when you leave versus when you're home, but this is just, again, just to get your imagination going a little bit. So let's go to option two, which is daytime. And again, with daytime, I determined to be the opposite of what I did at nighttime. So for the daytime, I don't care about turning lights on or off. I want it to open the garage when I get home wait for five minutes and then close it. And again, I like to, uh, da, 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 I like to name these so you rename and that's where I get them, but play for five minutes, I don't care. And then when I go away during the day, I want the garage door to close, doors to lock, lights to go off if I'm the only one there. Now, if there's other people at my house, we could put more conditions in here, but again, it's supposed to make it as simple as possible. And, that's what I think is so awesome about this choose feature. So we'll just do like a quick one as an example. So choose, and then again, remember how I did mine. So I did option one and option two, which is day and night. So my option one is again, another choose. Nighttime, and the actions are a choose. So we'll break this down in a YAML actually. But essentially, I'm using a choose within a choose. I know this is a quick one, but I at least wanted to get something out there. Um, again, I will put all the YAML for this entire thing on the GitHub as I always do. But I hope this kind of gets people's minds going a little bit of some of the cool things you can do, especially with that choose feature, because I think that's the coolest one that they've ever added to Home Assistant Automations. Since, you know, honestly, Inception, and I've been using Home Assistant probably since the very beginning, but somebody finds this useful. Thank you.